Hi my honeys, Erica here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute, don't kill me. I have been super busy, but I am excited to have more content back on my channel and hopefully post a lot more regularly than I have been. First up today, I wanted to do a living room tour. I've never done a room tour on my channel here and I'm so excited to show you my summer living room space. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel and like the video and leave a comment down below if you wanna see more room tours. Hi you guys, welcome to my living room. This is the first area you see when you walk into my home. So I wanted it to be super light, bright, and inviting and very cozy and welcoming. So let's check it out. This huge fireplace slat wall was a labor of love between my dad and I. We installed this last year. If you click up here, there's actually a video on my channel of that if you wanna see it. And we had this beautiful touchstone sideline 50 inch fireplace that we put inside. I love it, it's super cozy for the fall and winter months. And honestly, I put it on in the summer too, just without the heat because I think, I think it just looks cozy. And then here's my Samsung frame TV. It looks like art when you're not watching, but here's a little hack. If you don't wanna spend the extra money for the Samsung frame TV, go to YouTube because they have full channels where you can display artwork for hours on end on your regular smart TV. And I also installed these gorgeous sconces, but they're not hardwired. <laughs> There's actually just puck lights inside and they're remote controlled, so I don't have to have any hardwiring here. So here is the fireplace. I love it so much. It adds so much coziness to this room. And now for today's sponsor of the video, Jonathan Lewis Furniture. They provided me with this gorgeous new Nate sectional. This is the 109 inch sectional in their Dover Ivory Performance Just Live fabric. So their Just Live line of fabrics are super durable. Our cats are always on this sofa. So we needed to make sure that even though I wanted a white sofa, I wanted it to be durable and hold up. We've actually already spilled a few things on it. And as you can tell, it's come perfectly clean. Um, I love the sofa. What I love about it is when you sit back on the sofa, you don't just like sink into the floor, but yet it's super cushy and supportive. And that's because it uses down, down alternative and foam in channels. So that way it's definitely supportive with still having that comfort factor of the feathers. What I love about this sofa also is first of all how deep the seats are. It also came with matching pillows. You can get any fabric you want though on the pillows. I just decided to have them all matching. I highly, highly recommend Jonathan Lewis Furniture. I will leave the link below to find a dealer near you. I have been so satisfied with this sofa so far. We've had it for a couple of months. It looks spotless still. It's very easy to vacuum up cat hair off of it. We have just a little attachment on our Dyson. And it's super, super soft and comfortable. I honestly am so thrilled with this purchase. This is like my dream sofa. And everybody always tells me how much they love these coffee tables. These were a DIY. If you go to my Instagram and my blog, you can see how I made these. I saw these travertine stone tables at CB2 and they were so expensive. Like I think the cheapest one was like $279 but together they would have been like 700 something dollars. I didn't have that. So I actually made these, my first coffee table build ever for less than $200. I used spray paint and wood from Home Depot and I used this really cool stone textured spray paint to give it that like really faux stone look. And I just think they came out so beautiful. I love that we can kind of separate them for how we need them. Probably one of my favorite pieces I've ever DIY to date. I kept the styling super simple. This is just two books stacked and a bowl from Target on top. This vase is the Konos vase from A Floral and I'm obsessed with it because it's huge and amazing. And this little triple candle holder is from Sienna Studios. They are amazing and they make so many cool uh, cement products. Thought it was nice and simple for here. I'm actually probably gonna paint this guy because it's got some scuffs on it for fall, but for now I just absolutely love the simplicity of it. And yeah, I just kept the styling super simple on the tables. 
here's one of my favorite spots in the room. This is like my little plant shelf. We had this bow window installed by Universal Windows Direct last year. I do have a video on my channel to show you guys like the before and after of that. But I just put all of my sunlight loving plants in this window and they totally thrive here. I just think it's a really cool place to put plants. The cats do like to jump up, jump up here, but they don't. Typically, they don't like to eat the plants, so I get lucky on that front. But this is like my little indoor garden right here. <laughs> These ottomans I absolutely love. They are boucle fabric. I love the texture. They are from Article, and I think they're about 100 bucks each, but honestly worth the investment because our cats like have run all over them with their claws and everything, and they haven't destroyed them yet, so that's like always a positive. Super cute and very versatile. We can use them as extra seating if we have guests over. Another DIY I did in this room are these gorgeous cane planters. I got this idea to build sort of like sheaths for the existing planters that my plants come in and just putting a drip tray underneath. And they're actually like stacked up on paint cans inside. But I just thought the cane with the cream detailing was so pretty. And I am loving my giant uh, ficus tinnicky and there's a ficus melanie back there. I just love having like live fresh plants in a space it really just brings the space to life and i love anything variegated so the ficus tinnicky is like probably one of my favorite plants right now but yeah these planters were a labor of love you can check out my instagram for the diy on those okay so i wanted to show you guys the curtains that i have in this space these are the lenda curtains from ikea super inexpensive i think it was like 30 bucks or 24.99 for a pack of two and i got two packs and i love how they drape on the floor they drape really nicely from the curtain rod and i always make sure i hang my curtain rod super high that's how you make your windows look much more grand and your ceiling look ceilings look higher but i really really love this whole plant wall bay window situation framed by the curtains I get a lot of questions on my wall art. These acrylic frames with the brass knobs are from Highland Hardware. I absolutely love them. They're a bit of an investment, but you can literally keep these up forever and you can swap out the artwork. You just have to remove the knobs. And then I have my artwork printed. I get prints off of Etsy and then I just have them printed at FedEx office. In poster size, these are 18 by 24 sized wall art. Hi, Jake. Um, and that's how I have them printed every single time. I have some new ones for fall that I already have printed out. And all I have to do is just take the knobs off and put the new artwork in. And it's that easy. That's why I love these and they just will kind of stay as a staple in my home. They look super glamorous, I think. This is one of my prized pieces in my home now. This is my Ikea Billy bookcase that I turned into the Oxford cabinet with the glass doors you can put on the front. And I did this really cool arched treatment and fluting detail and added new hardware. My friend Kismet House did a similar DIY on a different cabinet and I knew I could make it happen on my Ikea Billy bookcase. So I just think it's super cool. I have all my vases in here, plus like these baskets that are unfortunately discontinued from Ikea. They store like all my like light bulbs and tape and stuff you wouldn't normally wanna keep out. And then below here we have like household tools and things like that, just all the mess is at the bottom where you can't see it. So I love this cabinet. I love the blush pink color. This was a bare chalk paint in miniature rose. And I think the little feminine detail in this space is just super pretty without being too over the top. I will link this hanging basket that I love. It's from Ikea. Actually, everything in the entire room that I can link, I will link below in the description box. Love this. It's super simple, but just doing a hanging plant above your sofa in the living room just adds a little bit of dimension in the space and you can never have too many plants, right? <laughs> and this rug is from Rugs USA. This is the tan Moroccan diamond tassel rug. I will link it below in the description box, but it has served us so well for this entire spring and summer so far. We are about to switch it out for our fall rug, but I highly recommend this. It does shed a little bit because all wool rugs will, but it's not like anything crazy. I don't have fuzzies all over my house or anything like that. It's just this beautiful like beigey color. It's not quite tan. It definitely has more gray than it does tan in it, but it's somewhat in between. It's just a super soft color and I love the tassels on the end as well. And it's also very, very soft to sit on. 
Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you liked this living room tour. Let me know if you want me to do more room tours because I think it's actually kind of fun for you to see in real time the entire space versus just like a picture of an angle or a video of an angle here or there. We absolutely love this space in its current iteration. It is going to change up a little bit for fall and I'm gonna do a video on that as well. But I just loved how light and bright and simple and clean this space was for the spring and summer months. It really was just like a breath of fresh air. So thank you so much for watching this tour and I will see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe.